In today's lesson, we're going to be looking at word problems of right angled triangles. So before we get to the talking about the word problems of right angled triangles, we want to take a look at two common definitions. One is the angle of elevation, and the other is the angle of depression. So the angle of elevation, whenever they talk about the angle of elevation, that's measured from your horizontal line going counterclockwise. So in this case here, maybe let's say this is 30 degrees. This line right here would represent an angle of elevation of 30 degrees. On the other hand, your angle of depression is also measured from your horizontal, but it would be a line going in the clockwise direction. And let's say this was 30 degrees. It would go in the clockwise direction, and this would be considered an angle of depression of 30 degrees. So whenever they use the term angle of elevation, obviously elevate means to go up, and you're going to be going in the counterclockwise dire direction, and then whereas angle of, el angle of depression goes in the clockwise direction, and you can see it's kind of going downwards, pressing downwards. Okay, so they're gonna, you're going to uh, see these terms, angle of depression, angle of elevation, used in these word problems. All right, let's take a look at our first word problem. For our first word problem here, we have two buildings. Um, two buildings are 50 meters apart. They say the angle of elevation from one building to the other is 33 degrees. And from the same building, the angle of depression to the base of the other building is 39 degrees. Find the height of both buildings. All right, so in this question here, you know you have two buildings. Uh, you know they're 50 meters apart. You want to create uh, two different buildings. One has to be shorter than the other, right? And in this situation here, they say the angle of elevation of one building to the other is 33 degrees. And from the same building, the angle of depression is 39 degrees. The building they're referring to must be the shorter building, right? If I have two buildings here, let's say you've got yourself a building one, and then let's say you have a taller building over here, all right? Um, if the first building has an angle of elevation to the top, it must be the shorter building, right? In this case here, you're sort of like looking upwards. And again, they say this is an angle of elevation of 33 degrees, so we're going to go ahead and put that in there. And then we have an angle of depression, the base of the taller building, and that measure was 39 degrees. We know that the buildings are 50 meters apart, so I can label that with 50 meters. And what they want us to find here is they want us to find the height of both buildings, so the height of X, you know, make a little marking here, and I'm just going to have Y be the length from uh, this point here right to the top. All right, let's take a look at how we would solve this. Well, uh, some assumptions we have to make. I'm going to assume that this building is perfectly vertical, giving this a 90 degree angle both here and here. So now I have this 90 degree angle here. I have a triangle, I have a right angle triangle here. I know the distance from here to here is 50. Well, it must be the case that the distance from these between this line segment must also be 50. I'm looking to solve for uh, the length of the building here, y. So I can, I'm looking to solve for this y value here. Well, what can we do? I um, know my angle of 33 degrees, this would be my opposite. Across from my 90 degrees is my hypotenuse, and then this would be my adjacent on this side. Well, if you take a look here, um, we want the O, and we're given the A, so this is a tan question. So I could set up my tan relationship here. I have tan of 33 degrees is going to equal my opposite, which is y, over my adjacent, which is 50. Multiply across by 50, I have y equals 50, tan 33, and y is approximately 32.47. Now we can do that trick again with the bottom triangle. I've got a bottom triangle here, 90 degree angle there. I know the length from here to here is 50. In this case here, I want to solve for x, which is the height of the building. I know the height of the building is x here, which is going to be the same as here. So I have an x here. So now, once again, do the same thing. Directly opposite, I label that opposite. Across from the height, um, 90 degree angle is my hypotenuse, and then leftover is my adjacent. So if I solve for this here, well, we end up getting, in this case, uh, it's going to involve the O and the A again. And you're going to have here the tan of 39 degrees equals my opposite over my adjacent, in which case here, multiply across by 50, you get x equals 50 tan 39, 
and therefore x is approximately 40.49 meters. So we've got our problem solved now, just a little bit of putting things together here. I now know that the length of the shorter building is going to be 40.49 meters, and the length of the taller building will actually be the sum of both of these here. So in this case here, you're going to take the 40.49 and you're going to add that to the 32.47, which gives me an approximate height of the taller building of 72.96 meters. Okay, so review this question here. It comes up a lot. It's a common question um, that you see here. But um, again, get used to the diagram and try to match the description that we have here and then how that diagram was constructed. All right, let's take a look at the next problem. Okay, so for this question here, we've got a man whose eyes are 1.8 meters from the ground. So that's kind of where the line of sight is. Notes that the angle of elevation, so again, angle of elevation to the top of the building is 65 degrees. As he walks 30 meters farther away, so he's mark walking 30 meters farther back, the angle of elevation is 55 degrees. How tall is the building? Okay, let's first draw a building. So we have our building here. Now we've got a, we've got a, person and let's say that person will start here and we know that that person's line of sight as they say is 1.8 meters now as this person looks to the top of the building the angle of elevation so your angle of elevation is again it's measured from your horizontal and that angle of elevation in this case is 65 degrees and again we don't know that distance we'll label that with an x now this man here takes a step and walks 30 meters farther away. So now the man's moving all the way over here. And what do I know now? Well, I know the distance from here to here is now 30. The line of sight hasn't changed, right? This person didn't get any taller or any shorter. So now looking to the top of the building, now looking to the top of the building, the angle of elevation is 55 degrees question becomes is how tall is the building? All right, let's see how we can answer this one. Essentially, what I need to do is I have to find the length from here to here. Because once I have this length here, I know the leftover length from here to here will just be the 1.8 that we needed. So really, to solve this problem, I just have to find this length right here. I have a right angle triangle. I know that this is 65 degrees. So what do I know? Well, I know that directly opposite, I can label that as my opposite. I know I have my hypotenuse here, and I know that this is my adjacent. Now I'm gonna change my variable down here to a y. If you notice, I had an x in both spots. You don't wanna do that. So I'll change that to a y just to have a different variable uh, to work with here. So now in this case here, what do we know? Well, I know the tan of 65 degrees is going to equal, if you take a look here, my opposite over my adjacent. And my adjacent variable here is a y. So it's going to be x over y. And that doesn't really help me very much because I have two variables here that I have to solve for. But let's take a look here at the larger triangle. Let's say we've got our larger triangle here. Now if you look at your larger triangle, and we look at this measure here, I know that once again you can set up your tan ratio. So in this case here it'll be the tan of, this not 65 this time, but the tan of 55 degrees. Now just take a look here at this triangle where I'm referring to. We're going to go this way going to go up here and then over here at this triangle. So if I go to measure this here, my opposite is still x. My adjacent, though, is going to be the entire length from here to here. It's not 30, it's not y, it's going to be 30 plus y. That's my second operation. Now from here, we can actually solve uh, for the height of the building. Let's take a look at how. So these are the two equations that we created in the diagram above. I want to be able to solve for um, x or y. So the case, the case here, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to actually multiply across by y for the first equation. So I get x equals y tan of 65 degrees. Likewise here, if I isolate for x, I get x equals 30 plus y times the tan of 55 degrees. I now have x written in terms of y and I have x written in terms of y here. So what I can do here is set these two equations equal, in which case if I set these two equations equal, we're going to get y tan of 65 is equal to 30 plus y tan of 55 degrees. 
when we do that here, we get y tan 65 equals 30 tan 55 plus y tan 55. And again, I just did distribution of that tan 55 into the brackets here. I want to collect the y's together, so I'm going to bring them all to one side. So we get y tan 65 minus y tan 55 is 30 tan 55. Factor out the y, we get tan of 65 minus tan of 55 is 30 tan 55. Divide across by tan 65 minus tan 55, and we get 30 tan 55 divided by tan of 65 degrees minus tan of 55 degrees. If you calculate this on your calculator, you get approximately 59.81. Now this y value here, this is not the answer, this is not the height of the building. This mean, We found this value here, 59.81 meters. Um, so at least we know the initial distance that the person was to the building. Now in this case here, we can go ahead and solve. Uh, it's fairly simple at this point. Uh, here I've got y is 59.81. What you can do is you can pick either equation. You can either pick equation 1 or 2. I'm going to pick equation 1. So I get tan of 65 degrees is x, which I want to find, divided by 59.81. Multiply across by 59.81. Tan of 65 is x, and you get x is approximately 128.26. So therefore, the total height of the building is equal to the 128.26. Plus, don't forget, this, that's the length from here to here, plus add that 1.8, and we get an approximate value of 130 meters. All right, so uh, this is a pretty involved question, a lot of steps here, but you notice um, this general process here, take a look at the diagram, see how it was constructed, um, review the, the math that we did here, and uh, see if you can do this yourself, right? Uh, try the question out fresh and then try to follow along with me as uh, you see the, how the lesson progressed. All right, let's take a look at, at a new problem. All right, so this question here, we have two trees are 100 meters apart. From a point midway uh, between the angle of elevation to the tops is 12 degrees and 16 degrees. How much taller is one tree than the other? So we've got two trees here. Um, so what you have here is two trees, they're 100 meters apart. So I know the distance from here to here is 100 meters. At a point, let's say midway, so it's the, exactly the middle, I know that the angle of elevation to the one tree, going right to the top here, is 16 degrees, and the angle of elevation to the top of the other tree is 12 degrees. Now, um, important information here, the reason I knew to put the 16 where we have the taller tree is because a larger angle means larger opposite side. Smaller angle means smaller opposite side. So therefore, smaller angle means smaller tree. Larger anger, angle must mean the larger tree. Okay, it's a very important fact, uh, so just keep that in mind uh, with these diagrams. So now they want us to find how much taller is one tree than the other. So in this case here, because they do use the term midpoint, I know that uh, this is going to be 50, and this will be 50. Well. Under, if I assume that the trees are perfectly vertical, then we have a right angle triangle, in which case I know that the, the length of this tree, I can label that with an X, and the length of this tree, I can label this with a Y. And in this case here, we're going to have the tan of 12 degrees is going to equal Y over 50. So the height of that smaller tree is 50 tan 12 degrees, which is approximately equal to 10.63 meters. And likewise, I can set up a ratio here. This will be the tan of 16 degrees is x over 50. So x is going to equal 50 tan of 16. And then x is approximately equal to 14.34 meters. So how much taller is the larger tree? Well, take the height of the larger tree, subtract off the height of the smaller tree, and the approximate difference in length is 3.71 meters. So the taller tree is about 3.71 meters taller than the... All right, let's take a look at another problem. 
So with this problem here, we have um, an apartment window is 24 meters above the ground. The angle of depression to the base of a nearby building is 38 degrees, and the angle of elevation to the top is 63 degrees. Find the height of that nearby building. All right, let's draw a diagram here. Okay, take a look at the diagram here. We've got a building. You have a window about 24 meters to the ground, and uh, there's a nearby building. The nearby building must be taller. The reason for that is there's an angle of elevation to get to the top of 63 degrees. So in this case here, when you're calculating angle of elevation depression, notice it's always based from your horizontal. And we have an angle of elevation to the top of the building of 63 degrees, they tell us, and the angle of depression to the bottom of the building of 38 degrees. And what they want us to find here is the height of the building. So in this case here, you're going to label this X and label this Y. Again, assume the building is vertical. And in this case here, we know that the length from here to here is actually known to us. We know it's 24. Because I know the length from here to here is 24, so the length from here to here must be 24. So the only thing we really have to find is this length here. Well, the problem is, is I don't have this, the length of this leg, and I don't have the length of this leg of the triangle. But I can find the length of this leg of the triangle. So let's find that first, because I'm hoping I can use that to eventually solve for x. So uh, in this case here, we've got our angle here directly opposite. We'll label that opposite, label this hypotenuse, and label this adjacent. And in this case here, we've got here, this is my opposite. This is what we want to find, my adjacent. So this involves the O and the A. It'll be a tan question again. So this will be the tan of 38 degrees is going to be my opposite over my adjacent. Now let's introduce a variable for this one. Let's call it, we've already got an x and a y. We'll just call this z over z, and I want to find that length. I'll multiply across by z, and uh, don't forget here is tan of 38 is just a number, so I can divide across. So I get 24 over tan of 38, which is approximately equal to 30.72. So now I know that the distance between the buildings is 30.72 meters. Uh, again, I'm in a situation here. I want to find the height here. I now know this length here. Again, I can set up the tan question here. So this will be the tan of 63 degrees is x over 30.72. x is equal to 30.72 tan of 63. And x is approximately equal to 60.29. So the height of the nearby building must therefore be the height from here to here plus the height from here to here. So in that case here, you're going to go 60.29 and add that 24 meters. And the approximate height of the building is 84.29 meters. Okay, that wraps up uh, examples of right triangle word problems. Take a look through these, try to draw these diagrams out, try to redo these questions, uh, and then follow along, see, check it with my solution. You'll find these are very common problems that come up a lot in uh, the textbooks and whatnot, so it's worth it to study them because you'll see them again. Thank you.